Hey people, quick update. It's been a minute since I made a video. It's raining and nasty. But look at the boat. Um, it's taking up a lot of room in the shop, so things that I am fiddling with, I just end up setting the boat. Anyway, I still gotta put a coat on the top side. I got the bottom done. I got the trailer um, adjusted and set. Uh, bought um I noticed some um, damage on the front it looks like yeah disregard this mess it looked like because there was no roller I think on a steep um, a steep load up I think the, the keel on the front was catching this back bar before it hit the wood to go up I think it was scratching up so I put a roller on the back Adjusted the roller up here and put up one of those V nose pieces. Well, it already had it on the trailer, but adjusted it a little better. Uh, carpeted the bunks, put some new brackets on the bottom, readjusted. Uh, still got to get some leaf springs. The one on this side is shot, and it's got the trailer sitting slightly on the right, leaning to the right. It's an inch and a half shorter on this side. I think this trailer has been wrecked before, um, but regardless, the paint. Um, has turned out great. I got, like I said, I got to put a couple more coats. Um, if you can see I've coat yeah, after a while. So I had this thing flipped upside down, dragging it around on boards. And to be honest, uh, it didn't do much damage. I, and that's just one coat that I had on it. So um, I got enough paint to do a couple of coats. As I was working on it, uh, I don't know if anybody followed me on the, on the Facebook side, but. Um, found some rot in the transom and have been mulling around over whether I was going to fix that right or just patch it up. Started to do my patch up today and just didn't feel good about it. I said, screw it. I cut it out. I didn't cut the whole back section out. Um, it was mainly rotting right in the center section. This was some good wood on each side. So, uh, what I did, I just cut, cut that box out, pulled it out, cleaned it. Um, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll post a picture. It was nasty. Um, fully rotten on the, on, you know, where the, <clears throat> basically it's been leaking, I think, around the drain. And uh, I think mostly around the drain. I think someone at some point sat this thing up with the plug in it or something. And, and uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. But water is just crazy. Uh, to be honest and to be fair, I'm pretty pretty sure if I keep the boat uh, I'm gonna end up cutting the floor out and redoing the stringers on the inside uh, pretty sure they're gonna be shot too if the if the, the uh, transom is any inclination but anyway got some solid marine ply I had uh, I had some left over from a project a while back and this one did not have a full inch and a half transom well, it is inch and a half, but it's inch and a half with the fiberglass and all. So it's not an inch and a half of wood. Um, it was like an inch and uh, inch and a quarter, maybe. Um, just a little less than inch and a quarter. Uh, so I just, the size marine ply that I had, uh, that wasn't for transom use because I've never done this before. Uh, it was for something else, but turned out pretty good. It was, uh, I think it was five eighths thick. Um, pretty sure it was 5 8 thick anyway worked out good basically as you can see um, well, you can't see it's hard to let you see but anyway it's you know where the edges are it's perfect uh i didn't have enough clamps to really uh clamp it right so i had to sacrifice um i hadn't drilled my holes obviously i hadn't drilled my holes for the motor that is going to be on it um as i was it was crazy <coughs> I repaired a lot of this um, before. I just put this back on. I wish I'd have waited. That's my uh, plates. Anyway, um, so I put the epoxy on the inside. I epoxied the wood together, two layers of it. Um, put it all back together with epoxy on the outside. I think I, um, I put a piece of the whatever you call it, the, the <laughs> cross that cross hatch 
whatever, the fiberglass. Uh, on the outside, coated that real good, put it back together. Like I said, I didn't have clamps, so I just sacrificed from both sides. I put some screws in places I knew I was already gonna have screw holes, except for that one. For some reason, I could not get that area right there pinched down. I don't know why, but I just said, screw it, poked a hole in it. I will put some fiberglass back over that spot. Seal that up after the fact. Um, did the same thing on the inside, um, put some screws in it and um, the screws, like these pieces that are holding it flush, when those screws went through, it actually, I mean, it just, it pulled it all back to where it's supposed to be on this side as well. So it's, it's sitting and it's stable. Um, I got this top part kind of tacked with uh, fiberglass. It started raining and you know, it's like, I need it less than, Last time I did a lot of fiberglassing and it was wet outside like that. It took forever to cure. Um, so anyway, well, you can see um, I, I haven't done anything to the section. So when I started the uh, inside, the plate, the metal plate, uh, wherever, where is that metal plate? Uh, I've got crap everywhere. This thing's been a mess. Anyway, there it is. That metal plate was on the inside. I didn't like it. I still don't like it. I don't want it on there. Um, I want that to be like it's supposed to be. So I got two thick layers of uh, the cross hatch or whatever you call it, fiberglass, the heavy duty fiberglass. So once the uh, once the epoxy and everything cures and it can hold itself in place, no problems, I'll pull all the screws out. Um, from this side, I'm gonna put these two layers from the inside, uh, heavy. And then uh, I got a little bit left, or I'll keep a little off of it to patch up um, down there, that little spot. I don't, I don't mind that, that's not a big deal. I can fix that easy. Um, and then I got to patch those two holes. I had, <laughs> it was bad, I, that was a bad idea. I tried patching a hole a, a really dumb way. Um, don't use Marine Bondo for big holes. <clears throat> just use it for you know cracks and small things you just need to seal up and then put some epoxy over it anyway all that being said like i said it'll be two layers across this um i'll probably use the marine bondo for the there's like gaps where the holes were in this side as well i'll probably fill that up um yeah so i am uh waiting on that to cure going on, we're going on vacation i'm actually on vacation technically um some feedback on the difference between Rust-Oleum topside and the um, total boat wet edge. Let me see that. So this, that's the two things. So total boat, uh, Rust-Oleum topside is the white. Total boat is the green. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right now. There's something different about Total Boat than the Rust-Oleum. Major different, and I don't know what it is. Honestly, I mean, yeah, I do know what it is. It's quality. You pay for, you pay for what you get. You get what you pay for. Um, there's definitely more of a gloss to the Total Boat, and it has a feel to it. It's on. It feels like gel coat. Like it doesn't just feel like. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like I can run my, I can scrape my fingernails on this, and it's pretty tough. But I don't know, that total boat feels different. Uh, I like it. I think uh, if I end up needing more paint, I think I'm just gonna go total boat on top of whatever I end up, the layers of the white. Um, it just feels more durable. I don't know why. So, anyway, that's an update. Um, I've done nothing with the motor. Uh, it's busy life right now. And this is just kind of my side project for the time being. It's going to be epic when I get done. It's going to be a cool little boat. Right. Thanks for checking in. Later.